Today we're going to take a look at another Pico CTF 2024 challenge. So the challenge is called Lost from the Past. The judge for these pictures is a real fan of antiques. Can you age this photo to the specifications? So the timestamp on this picture to 1970 blah 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 with as much precision as possible for each timestamp. In this example plus zero zero is a time zone adjustment. Any time zone is acceptable as long as the time is equivalent. Let's grab a link to the image. Let's double get the image. And let's see what we have to work with. So the image is in JPEG format. It has EXIF data. We can look at it with EXIF tools and see what kind of timestamps we're talking about over here. So all this front is calculated by EXIF tool. This isn't actually uh, stored in the image but then going forward from here and below is uh, EXIF data. I would assume modified date is one of them that we have to change and then uh, daytime original and create date also we will have to change. Um, what else is here? Yeah so create date, modified date and there is also a timestamp over here and if you look at it it actually has the millisecond part right so our millisecond and then millisecond part and then the time zone because standard exif you don't specify the time zone right it's just date and then followed by uh, the time and optional uh, millisecond ending so there's quite a bunch of uh, dates in here and just one timestamp. What I want to do is uh, let's do it V3. That's increasing the verbosity level so that it will tell us where it's pulling the data from. This is interesting. So Samsung trailer. And if you look, the timestamp it was showing us initially is in this Samsung trailer. Um, a unique standard timestamp that also includes milliseconds is length th 13 and that's what we have here. So they have embedded a Unix timestamp with milliseconds included and that means we have to do the same. A timestamp value of zero, like completely zero, signifies 1970 January 1st midnight so they wanted one millisecond past the midnight means everything here should be zero and then a one over here for this timestamp so let's see if we can uh, modify this value directly and to do so uh, we will do uh, so it's in samsung category and the value is called timestamp so let's print it first that is the timestamp correct currently that is encoded in the file so we verified we can read it correctly and let's say we want to set it to one right one millisecond past midnight uh, samsung timestamp doesn't exist or isn't writable okay so we can't modify this particular entry using exif tool it doesn't allow us to modify typically proprietary formats like Samsung trailer data, whatever. Let's launch the instance and see what we have to work with here. Okay, so we netcat this um, to whatever host they're giving us and port, and then we check the result. And I'm assuming if we've modified it uh, correctly, uh, we get the flag right but let's try with just the original right let's see what happens it 
So it sent the uh, original. And now let's check out, see what we get back from here. Wait, what? So now we can start um, carving out the uh, modified uh, picture. And so let's copy the original to original uh, modified. I think we can uh, modify the data directly maybe in uh, here. So let's do that. Uh, 1970 and then over here 0101 01, and then 00000, 00, right? And we're going to save this. And we are going to send it and see what happens. And let's grab back what the next response is. The next one, daytime original, uh, we need to uh, modify that as well. So scrolling down, uh, we find the next one. Is that the one? Oh yeah, it's uh, both of those. So let's change both of those uh, at the same time. So 1970, uh, 01, 01, and then here, just zeros, oops, for the midnight, and then 1970, 01, 01, and again, all zeros over here. For everything else, save again, send it back, and then let's check. Right, so we got three tags so far. Composite subsec create date is looking for 001. We have 703. Are we able to change that directly? So look, there is more than one entry with 703 and it's looking for 001. Right, let's try and change this to 001 and see what happens. 001 and over here 001 and save and let's send it back let's see what else uh, we have to work with so looks like we got six of them so far and Samsung timestamp right okay I have an idea let's see if it works so Scrolling all the way to the bottom. Uh, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go and copy original modified as original uh, good. Because uh, I don't know if I modify this one, if it's going to fudge something, right? So what I'm going to try first is see if we can trick it like this, right? Just basically one millisecond. See if it's happy, then we are done. Yay, let's go. But it seems it has worked. Time traveling picture. Okay. So let's check the uh, like, and there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. You know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all for the next challenge.